Howdy folks, hope you're doing well and staying safe. We got ourselves a radar and DD with smoke. Activated. I don't think, other than the black, I can't recall a destroyer that actually has smoke with radar. It's a short duration radar, it's only 10 seconds, but uh, it's deadly. And this being the tier 8 version of the new European destroyers, the uh, split. And man, I have a few jokes I can make about that, but I'm not going to. Overall, like I said, I keep saying it, I'm very happy with this line. I think it's very well balanced. This ship... Not so much. The radar, you'll see a little bit later. Um, this is me playing co-op, my co-op battle? I think it is. So, yeah. It, it That radar, that really gives you a good advantage. I'm glad they put it at 10 seconds and not, say, 20 or 25, because you'd be slaughtering DDAs with it. So, so as I said, it, it's balanced. It's good. Uh, the torps get a good improvement. Overall, yeah, I like this new line. It's really good, especially if you're new to the game and you want to go up a line, I would do this. But hey, let's dive into it. So, armor layout. She's got better armor, 19 mil. So, it's not too bad. You can still be penetrated, but you can also deflect shells pretty well. Like HE shells or AP. Uh, survivability, 16.6. Uh, a little bit low at this tier, in my opinion, but still good. Uh, she's got five 140 millimeter guns. That's 127 millimeters, 5 inch. These are big guns. They fire every 4 seconds. Turret traverse is the worst thing, 15.7 seconds. It's a bit in the range... I'd like to see up to 12 kilometer roughly, but that's me. Torpedoes, they get better. They're a 68 second reload, which is fantastic. Eight and a half kilometers, again, decent. Just over 10,000 damage max and 76 knots. They are fast. Even at 1.6 kilometers detectability, you're going to have a hard time maneuvering at these if you're a battleship. Dip charges, 2400, 10 drops. Yeah, this 40 seconds actually cost me a game with this boat and random against a submarine. If it was 30 seconds, I would be happier. I believe that's got to be changed and I'm not happy. Hey, hey, it's a destroyer. Maneuverability with speed flag, 40 knots. Look at the rudder shift time, 3.96 uh, seconds. It's amazingly fast. Detectability, uh, 6.9 with all the captain skills. Um, firing and smoke penalties, 3.6 kilometers. Again, it's decent. You're going to get detected first, so that's the way it goes. Now, detectability by sub, by periscope depth, 3 kilometers. And, of course, by air, same thing, 3 kilometers. Planes are not your fear. So what do I always take? You guys know this. Main arm modification. I do take engine room protection for these ships. I do take a, a aiming system modification one because I like to fire from range and I'm kiting away. Again, propulsion modification seems to work for me because I can juke and jive and I took concealment. Or you'd be doing a lighthouse build and I'm looking at you, Chad Lupa. Just a friend who's uh, one of our playmates, teammates we play with. Uh, HE shells, that's why she set up for HE spam in, the, uh, uh, in my flags. 5 and 38, smoke's really good. 23 seconds like the rest of them, but that lasts 89 seconds, which is fantastic. Over two minutes to recharge it, though. Speed boost, typical, plus 8%, last a minute and a half. It's really good. Here's the kicker, the radar. It's 9 kilometers, 10-second uh, duration. If you uh, time this correctly, you're going to get off easily two shots on a DD and possibly a third. Camo, I took the front one. I think it's 100 doubloons. Looks kind of cool. Let's go into Kurt Lindstrom, our uh, our uh, captain here. These are all the same. I have not changed this from tier five, tier six, tier seven, tier eight. They just seem to work for me. What I am noticing more and more is the uh, you know the last stand and the, and the priority target. Those four seem to be the most important. I've, I've I, for me personally, you know the adrenaline rush. I do take dazzle because you're gonna detect it first. It does help, especially the first shot's gonna basically miss you. But going back into it, here's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is my co-op battle. Co-op's kind of fun. I, I started doing co-op again because of uh, this game and doing this channel, so it's kind of feet. But um, I'm going to start smoking up here, and the DD is going to miss me, the bot. And I'm going to lose sight of it a little bit, but uh, I can still hit it because I know where it is. And then, boom, I can see it. it. It's very helpful, especially if someone wants to charge India and they don't realize it. I played a few random, uh, some random battles with this, and I've been able to use the radar where people don't know it has radar. And live to regret it, especially late in the game when they're low health. You could do a lot of damage. Overall, like I said, I like this ship a lot. I like the line. I'm going to do the tier 9 and tier 10 next and get those. But um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. They're very well balanced, in my opinion. Uh, I would not up this radar, though. You made it 20, 25 seconds. You'll kill destroys every time you do it. But other than that, uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think so far if you do the line? Do you think you're interested in getting the line? But you know, leave me a comment down below. But as always, take care, stay safe, and wish you all the best. Bye for now.